Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome to the One Drop Shower Ministry of Preparedness. My name is Mike Albert. I will be your host bringing you the most in Bible scripture and current events that's not in the news. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of dead church today in the Bible. See what Jesus has to say about this letter to his church, reflecting upon those times and nowadays and in the future as well. Uh, we are sponsored today by Ambertracks.com for your emergency survival supplies and waterproof Bibles. That's ambertracks.com. Amber like the color, tracks like railroad tracks. One word, ambertracks.com. Let us begin with a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this ministry of preparedness, Lord, this 100-year plan to get your children into the wilderness, Lord, uh, when times of uh, persecution and oppression become unbearable, uh, when there is no more um, uh, good ratios of food supplies and water and uh, warmth uh, as compared to the masses, Lord, that uh, are overwhelming. Please lead your children, Lord, that are going to spread your gospel, uh, be a part of it somehow, and to win winning souls into the wilderness to survive with a 100-year plan in mind, uh, above and beyond the three-day plan the uh, others want us to have, Lord. Please bless our viewers, Lord, and their families and extended families, their children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. Please protect their children from uh, Satan's whispers and, and temptations. Uh, please uh, help them to get good school grades and to have children of their, all, of their own and to grow old and to, and to die healthy, Lord, and uh, at peace. And we ask that you please bless um, their foods on their table, their travels with mercy, their prosperities, uh, their health, happiness, and above all, patience, Lord, to endure until the end, uh, until your coming. Please bless our nation, Lord. And uh, all the unrest going on in their hearts and minds, we ask that uh, that the leaders uh, do uh, activities and prayer that glorify you, Lord. We ask, Lord, just please, uh, uh, we, we pray fervently, Lord, for your Ten Commandments, Lord, to come back into public view, Lord. Uh, we, we, there was a great prayer uh, and um, witness and testimony there for uh, Judge Roy Moore there in Alabama, Lord, praising Jesus and reading scriptures, Lord. Um, as it was in the inauguration of Donald Trump, Lord. Please help this to resonate more, to plant seeds, to win souls. May yes, you please shut down this CNA, uh, CNN news station, Lord, that uh, has nothing but uh, uh, hatred in their hearts. Uh, we ask that you uh, stir the pot, Lord. We ask that you, uh, that you turn your gaze upon them, Lord. Uh, we ask that uh, the stations in the airports and wherever they are around the world with CNN be replaced with the Ten Commandments. Just stay there on the TV, Lord, 24-7. That'd be a beautiful day. Uh, please bless, dear Lord, our military. We ask that you bring them home, Lord, uh, to the United States here. Shut down all the bases, Lord. Just let us protect and take care of ourselves in these crazy end times, Lord. Uh, we, we're going to need it. Uh, please uh, help us to build our borders in the northern and southern uh areas of the United States here, Lord, and uh, bless the first responders, Lord, to those going towards danger when others are running from it. Uh, please be in the midst of that with courage and patience, and uh, be with those that are suffering from these uh, catastrophic damages, Lord, and hurricanes and volcanoes and uh, tsunamis and, uh, have, have had their lives wiped out, Lord, literally and figuratively and uh, uh, with their homes in rebuilding, Lord, please help them to do this, and please glorify the churches, Lord, uh, that, so that they may glorify you, Lord, uh, in man's image, so that uh, we can win souls. All these things we ask in Jesus' name, amen. Love would solve it all. <laughs> you know, just there's just so much hatred. Um, even within ourselves, we have to pray continuously. I, I've had to um, pray a lot these past couple of days for a... Uh, a brother at church that is just so full of pride. So, um, you know, I just don't want to fill it with adjectives. Let's just say that, leave it at that. <laughs> and uh, he just he just needs to be humble. The Lord needs to humble him and uh, hopefully, hopefully do it uh, without undue burdens so gracefully. Because uh, I myself was there once as well. And um, I know what it's like to be full of pride and not focus on God, but you don't expect that in the church. You don't expect that from a fellow, um, you know, brother or sister in the church. Yet, yet there it is. That's the beginning. That's the beginning of sorrows. We're going to be ratted out, folks. Those that you think love you the most, uh, 
um, and would never turn against you are going to turn against you. Hey, this is what's in the Bible. You know, it may not be you. It may be, you know, someone you know. But it's going to happen if it's not already happening. Um, you know, for Satan, Satan, Satan has his goals. God has his goals. Uh, and this, this is a uh, battle of principalities, folks. Really what it is. So you got to get your heart and mind right with God. Let me just uh, adjust my screen here so I get the map up for you guys to uh, view if uh, the words of the scripture are not enough. That's the problem. Why do I have two of these up? Don't need two. It opened in a new screen. Why did it do that? Um, getting some overseas uh, likes. Few. That's good. Um, people in Pakistan and Iran and uh, the other countries there. Hello. God bless you. Thank you for your comments and joining in on the Gospels and current events. This is going to be the map. Israel map. Manish there and Francesca and some others. God bless you. All right, those are the current events. Some wacky ones going on. I got some emails uh, that were a bit unsettling to say the least. You can see in the background there they are doing some work there. Uh, that's nothing. What, you, what I see in front of me, whew, big construction project here. So if you hear the noise in the background like that saw going. Um, that's what it is. Sparks flying, metal being cut, and uh, well, I got my windows closed. All right, Revelation 3, the dead church. This is the New King James Version of the Bible, the Andrew Study Guide. I love it because it's got the commentaries below and the cross-references in between to prove to you that the Bible is true 100% over thousands of years. And the Word says, And to the angel of the church in Sardis write, These things, he says, he who has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars, I know your works, that you have a name, that you are alive, but you are dead. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. For I have not found your works perfect before God. Remember, therefore, how you have received and heard. Interesting. Hold fast and repent. Simple instructions. Um, it's basically what are what what is Jesus' letters to these churches are instructions. You know, this is what I see right. This is what I see wrong. This is what I like. This is what I don't like. You know, he's being a manager. He's managing his people. Managing the church. The church, which is the people. Heed the warning. Um, therefore, if you uh, therefore if you will not watch, I will come upon you as a thief, and you will not know what hour I will come upon you. You have a few names, even in Sardis, who have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white. Amen. For they are worthy. He who overcomes shall be clothed in white garments, and I will not blot out his name from the book of life, praise God, but I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. Amen. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Amen. Um, so much here, so much meat to chew on here of words of scriptures here um and this is the first this is the third the church one two three four the fourth church i think uh, loveless persecuted one two uh compromising and corrupt this is the fifth church actually what did i write in the title i think i wrote the third church in there or well, third chapter all right so this is the fifth church sixth and seven two more so we might be able to finish up let's see yeah, maybe um, but this is the first one that he um, comments on that I believe that are where we will find those that are worthy of uh, walking besides him. The other ones are just, I guess, not worth it. 
um, but notice the difference in here um, of opposites, complete opposites. He's talking about dead and life. Um, so we have those that are living and not living in Christ, um, such extremes. Such, I mean, I'm curious to see if these are the um, these are inclement towards um, as time goes on. So, in other words, is it chronological? Is what is written here um, chronological in the eyes of man as well as God? From church to church, I'm saying. So, are we on a timeline here? Beginning, see the first church. Uh, loveless and then persecuted, compromising, corrupt, dead church. Um, is that following history as we go on here as well? But the Bible isn't necessarily like that. The Bible isn't necessarily chronological. Um, and it's proven a couple times. And then moving on is is faith. Are we are we in the age of the dead church? The faithful church, the lukewarm church at the very end, the last church. Is that the last church? I don't think so. I would like to think so. Give us a timeline here. Like this was, you know, 500 years ago and uh, this is today. And, um, you know, the next five minutes, Christ is coming. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Well, not really because not everyone's had a chance to hear his, uh, the, Scott, the three angels' messages. So... That wouldn't be great. We have to be patient. The patience of the saints. Let's see what the commentaries have to say in verse 3 through uh, 1, chapter 3, verses 1 through 6. Uh, Sardis, 30 miles southeast of uh, Thyteri, impress, uh, impressive mountain top Acropolis, like Pergamos. It may represent the sterility of Protestant ortho orthodoxy after the Reformation. All right, so it sounds like they're saying it's up on a hill. <laughs> Why can't they just say that? Oh, man. Well, you know, above all others, you know. Uh, seven spirits, seven stars. I wanted to know what that was. And now they're saying C1 and 4. All right, so let's go 1 and 4. John to the seven churches which are in Asia. All right, so this is John speaking to them, um, I guess, through what Jesus had to say. Um, vision of the Son of Man. I, John, both your brother and companion in the tribulation and kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was on the island uh, that is called Patmos for the word of God. All right, so while we was on... Okay, so, and for the testimony of Jesus. So while he was on the island, he was isolated, uh, what do they call it, excommunicated, ex exported there. He was uh, deported. Trump deported him. Uh, funny, it says right here, behind me a loud voice and a trumpet, trumpet, saying, I am Alpha and Omega. So this is Jesus talking to him while he's on the island there about these, the message he wants him to deliver. Uh, but in uh, one four, John to the seven churches which are in Asia. So seven churches, seven stars, seven spirits, seven stars, seven churches, same thing. Um, and what was the other one? Uh, and twenty. So one and twenty. Looking for but commentary on that as well. The mystery of the seven stars which you saw. In my right hand and the seven golden lampstands, the seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven lampstands, which you saw, which you saw, are the seven churches. All right, so we got we got stars, we got lampstands, we got churches, uh, and we have spirits. Seven seven seven, sounds good to me. Uh, let's see if there's a commentary for that. One in twenty angels could mean the guardian angels who watch over the churches. Amen. Or the respective human leaders of those. Ch Big difference. How can I say it's one or the other? <sighs> That's frustrating to me. Reading the Bible and that, that comes about. I mean, those are commentaries and help me understand it. And then you're, you're going from an 
angel, <laughs> this huge, powerful, divine being, to a human. Oh, it might be a human, it might be this, you know, angel. Bad capacity. I don't like that at all. I think, I think that, oh. And there's the, 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 you can't identify really so much a leader of these churches. I understand the Catholics have one leader, the Pope. And that's, no, that's not the Antichrist. The Antichrist is the Vatican. It's an entity. But there's one. Listening to Paul Begley yesterday, and I tried to get in the chat room. I must be blocked. <laughs> or maybe I blocked myself. I don't know. Um, ever since I upgraded uh, my thing there, what was that? 3 4 happened in Iran. I didn't catch the other one. Uh, ever since I upgraded my uh, browser to Mozilla, um, I can't chat anymore. But I wanted to tell him while he was sitting there in the, on his broadcast saying, um, the Antichrists, and he added an S to the end, as in plural. There is no Antichrist. There's one Antichrist. I'll have to find that. Point it out to him. Um, all right, so moving on. Uh, verse 3, come as a thief. Second coming language. Um, that goes into all these references in Matthew and these First Thessalonians and Peter. Applied to the local situation of a specific church. The church's judgment will come at an unexpected time. Well, um, churches are pretty stable. So I don't know what would be an unexpected time for that church or just an unexpected time in history, mankind. Um, unexpected as in... Perhaps a change in power or structure of the church. Unexpected as in when the church is either being lifted up or broken down somehow, maybe decimated. Let's say a 12.0 magnitude earthquake flips, uh, you know, Rome on top of the Vatican and no one gets hurt. That would be an unexpected time for this... Um, what should we call it? Uh, the thief to come. All right, moving on. Lots of variables here. Verse uh, four: Not defiled their garments. Were faithful to Christ. Right. White garments. Uh, not take away their heavenly citizenship. Uh, the book of life lists the names of the saved, like an ancient register of citizens. Um, and judgment, confess we have a personal advocate in the judgment, which is Jesus, right? Uh, would we go up to six? That was it. Okay. Did I do just that? All right. No, I didn't do seven. All right. So that is the dead church. People that are alive but are dead, be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. I guess ourselves. Um, I don't think that would be sin. We are dead in sin. For I have not found your works perfect before God. Um, interesting that he should say that because God views us through the biblical lenses of Christ. Does he not? Does he not view us through the blood of Jesus and finds us? Well, he doesn't find us perfect. It seems like a um, like a multi-layered threshold. There, you got the blood, you got our sin, you got our works, which don't include. You got grace, and we have faith. I don't know. It seems like sometimes. The more you understand the Bible, the more complicated it gets. Um, and this doesn't help here to unfold that anymore. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain. Things. What are things? Um, prayer, perhaps? Verse 2. There's nothing in verse 2 here. Let's uh, maybe go to the um, cross-references. Um doesn't give a passage. It just says, 
N U M my God. Is that numbers? M my God. M my God. That's all I got. Numbers. Where's numbers? Let me put a bookmarker here. Sorry, folks. I wasn't expecting to uh, hit such a pitfall here, but it's good. We learn. Uh, numbers. I don't think I'm going to get anything out of that. Exodus, Leviticus. No, I don't think. I don't see how I could. Chapter after chapter after chapter. Alright, I'll have to chalk that one up to uh, further reading. Remember, therefore, how you have received, the, received and heard. Hold fast and repent. Therefore, if you will not watch, I will come upon you as a thief, and you will not know what hour I will come upon you. Interesting how he didn't say, a thief in the night. You have a few names, even in... It's interesting how... Um, you have a few names. Usually, when I hear something like that, I think of Satan. You know, because Satan's part of his trickery is you don't know what his name is. You know, it could be named this, named this, named that. Be this tool, this object, or this procedure, this character, this lifestyle. Therefore, if you will not watch, I will come. Uh, you have a few names even in Sardis, who have not defiled their garments. Oh, I see what he's saying. Okay, so he's saying amongst you there there are few there are a few amongst you um, that are worthy of walking beside me that are in Sardis. Okay, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. He who overcomes shall be clothed in white garments. Um, so he's sort of, I see, he's judging, he's tearing it down, pointing out the bad, pointing out the good, and then giving encouragement and more morale, uh, which is great. I mean, um, it's, it's a great psychological uh, profile that he's doing here, calling them out. You know, he, he's not putting him down. He's putting him down, but not really. He's sort of like just, you know, listen, this is what I see, guys. Not right. Not cool what's going on. The couple of you here that are good, they don't know who that is. So everyone's thinking maybe it's me uh, that's going to walk in right garments. Then, that, then he boosts their morale. Very smart. Very wise here what's going on here. Notice the psychological um, lifting up here. Tearing down. Lifting up. So like you did in a... Does a lot in the Bible. All right, let's get into some current events. We'll leave... we got two more to go. We'll leave that for uh, tomorrow. I think I'll finish the two of them up tomorrow. Or maybe one tomorrow, one the next day. All right, let's see what we got going on in the world here. Look at all the nuclear radiation back again. Oh, Lord. Um, I did get an email that they found out where this is coming from, supposedly. Wow, this just popped up. Wow, just all of a sudden, all over again. Look at that. Oh, Lord. This looks like the same exact spots as uh, a few months ago. One, two, four, six areas. All right, let's see what we got on the map here. Flash flood, Saudi Arabia, 26 minutes ago. Um, no current emergencies. Epidemic hazard in China. Notice Saudi Arabia is getting a lot, a lot of uh, Indonesia too as well. Um, and I occasionally say this, maybe once, twice a month, that is it possible that God is unleashing his gaze, his wrath, his vengeance upon those areas? Um, and I say this because I recently heard in the news somewhere that there was, uh, I think it was Saudi Arabia, that there was a lot of heroin being produced there. Um, and I ponder if other areas 
that are being ravaged, what's going on there that God doesn't like? I mean, sad to say, innocent people die. But is there other things going on behind the scenes, in the shadows? You know, it, it burdens my heart to say this. It really does. Because I look at the devastation in the heart. I feel it. Um, even people in my church have family that have had a, uh, you know, really hard time. Lost loved ones. Um, Puerto Rico. Mexico with the earthquake. Iraq with that major quake. So when you hear and see of these things happening... Think about that. Wow, look at all this which is happening. But was there a major child sex trafficking ring going on there? With perhaps blood sacrifice murders of children. Lord knows we do it in abortion every day. How come God decided and shaken this, flip this nation upside down ten times? I don't know why. How many hundreds of thousands of babies are killed? People, humans, at the inception is, as far as I know, a soul. And actually, science has went into a video showing a spark. They had these filters on these cameras and actually saw when a sperm um, fertilizes an egg. And it's going to be a child, is a child, right then and there. And there's this spark that happens. Lightning. Imagine that. That's not in the media. God forbid. That, that Planned plan Parenthood. How is it got funded? I think Trump was maybe had too much on his plate. You know, needed to somehow give them something to get something. But abortion, Trump, really? You better be fighting tooth and nail. That does not get funded next time. Not. I think it's going to. He's sitting in on this tax reform bill now. Because he's got so much, I don't want to say so much time, but he's accomplishing so much. And he's, you know, the guy's sleeping four hours a night. Uh, he's able to sit on this, you know, in Congress. How great is that? Yeah, that's going to shake him up. <laughs> uh, pray for a... Uh... Uh, convention of states, folks. We really need the uh, Article 5 enacted. Got to limit these terms. We wouldn't have this problem with the convention of states. We have it solved with this taxes. All right, tropical storm in Vietnam. Vietnam, you're getting whacked. You guys are always getting these typhoons and floods and tsunamis and landslides. Man, what's happening here? Tropical storm Kriogi has hit Vietnam, bringing torrential rain. The storm reckoned uh, weakened before making landfall, uh, meaning the sustained winds were only 55 kilometers per hour when it hit the coast. However, the rain was still very heavy, with 182 millimeters of rain reported in Quay Hong, 142 in the history historic site of Hue. This is a large amount of rain, and it falls at what is always a wet time of year. Oh, boy. All right. Um, they just say in a less than one month ago, Typhoon Damry killed at least 19 people. Like I said, they're getting whacked all the time. All right, uh, fire in the USA, state of Michigan, Nigeria, a terror attack, another terror attack. You know, it's like you wake up, you see chemtrails, and you read of a terror attack. Good morning, Pastor Coffee. Sad world we live in, folks. At least 50 people were killed on Tuesday in a suicide bomb attack at a mosque in northern Nigeria. You know, and here I am talking about church security because... We're not, as Christians, we're far from uh, out, of the, out of the bullseye of the scope of uh, those that seek to do us harm. Far from it. You know, I hate, to, I hate there to come a day that I have to say I told you so. I really do. God forbid. <sighs> 
The attack happened um, in the town of Mumbai in Adamawa state of uh, state as worship worper, worshippers were gathered for the Farge Bajar, whatever Farge. Uh, dawn prayer around 5.20 a.m. local time. The bomber was 17 years old. Oh, my God. Many people were injured and taken to nearby hospitals. So far, no one has claimed responsibility for the attack. Over the past eight years, northern Nigeria has suffered hundreds of deadly attacks in mosques, schools, markets, and churches carried out by jihadist group Boko Haram. Oh, isn't that the one that uh, kidnapped like uh, 30 Christian schoolgirls, all right, that the news won't mention. As many as 200,000 people are believed to have died in the carnage. Are you serious? Oh, my God. According to Western aid agencies, Boko Haram, whose name translates roughly as Western education is forbidden. Western education is forbidden. Interesting. That's what Boko Haram means. Western education is forbidden. Can you really blame them? <laughs> but you don't go around killing people. You talk about it. You know, you do something about it. You know, and educate differently, but not you don't educate people by blowing them up. Uh, it's God's job. Frequently uses children to carry out the bombings. Oh man, just. Uh, horrific, horrific. And I don't mean that literally, with God blowing people up. I mean that figuratively in transformation of their hearts and their minds. So, don't put words in my mouth. God's mouth. Or whatever. It's in the context. Don't take it out of the context. That's what I mean. Volcano eruption, Indonesia, level zero... Fire, United Kingdom in England. Nine hours ago, flash flood in Fiji, multiple areas. Um, Fiji, flash flood. Uh, it's got to be from rain, I guess. Um, not going to be from that, uh, what should I call it? Um, tiny little tsunami they had. That was a big quake, but 7.3 over there in uh, New Caledonia. Vehicle accident in India. Did I make the screen larger? No, I didn't. Sorry. Got through that Bible study and went right into here. Uh, let's see. Hazmat, USA, state of Indiana. Oh, boy. Let's see what gas is causing problems now. An investigation is underway after 30 confirmed officers and nurses were taken to the hospital Monday morning after... An incident at Allen County Jail in downtown Fort Wayne. The, con the confinement officer went to D block of the jail on the suspicion some inmates were smoking, according to Captain Steve Stone, public information officer with the Allen County Sheriff's Department. While searching one of the cells, they found a piece of paper infused with an unknown substance. The paper later tested positive for opioids. Yeah, it's nothing new in jails. All of the officers were, all the officers that entered the cell block reported smelling smoke and feeling strange. So they were getting high. All the inmates in D block and B block were sh uh, with shares, which shares the same air handler, were observed by nurses and emergency medical technicians, according to the Stone. Um, oh, so they were probably having a meth lab going on at the prison. Uh, initially, nine confinement officers and the nurse needed medical attention at a hospital. However, 21 more confinement officers were later taken as well for observation. On Monday afternoon, Stone said that all are doing well. Stone added as a precaution. The inmates were decontaminated. I really don't get this. Opioids. It, it's a piece of paper laced with um, a painkiller. You know, it's a liquid form. So now, see, so, something's fishy here. They're not saying, they're not telling you something. You got 30 people going to the hospital. Then another 21 going to the hospital. Then you got decontamination going on. And you're saying it's a piece of paper laced with, with a painkiller? I don't think so. 
This is this is something biological that's in the air. And why were they taken there? Because somebody you're saying you thought somebody was smoking. There, there's a lie right there. Of course they're smoking. It's, it's a jail. <laughs> A cleaning crew and hazardous material personnel are working to clean up the affected cell block, which has been completely closed up. This stinks to high, no pun intended, of a cover-up beyond a cover-up. There's no way this much activity would happen in a prison. Risking, risking other negative events to unfold. Everything from fighting, stabbing, killing, not only of, of, of inmates, but of guards and other personnel. Um, you know, obviously a security, securities that, that are in place will be uh, compromised, taken advantage of, um, perhaps even a, uh, you know, a standoff of some sort. Maybe a, uh, a hostage situation, a jail break, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Or was the whole entire thing a setup for a distraction while something else goes on? Who knows? Maybe one of the guards got beat up and, and they, now they fabricated this lie so many, so many things. I mean, talk about corruption. Prisons are one of the most corrupted, if if not more corrupted than politicians. Of what goes on in there? Did you know that you could own your own prison? Yeah, sure. You want to go in the prisons, prison business? It's booming in America. America has the highest ratio of population to prisoners in the world. Did you know that? I think it's like something like 21 million people in prison in the United States. It's disgusting. It really is. That's just prison. Then you got psychi psychiatric. Then you got rehabilitation. Uh, and who knows what other agencies, type of agencies in between. Now, hopefully there's some uh, updates on this because um, you notice you don't, you notice you don't, uh, What's missing here? Let me let me play a devil's advocate here with you. What's missing in this element? Come on. Use your brain. Think about it. What's missing? Something's missing in here. It's very vital. Accountability. What prisoners were found accountable? Where's the evidence other than this piece of paper? <laughs> There's a piece of paper with something on it. They say it's a, they say it's an opioid. Probably a hallucinogenic, if anything. So, consider that. They didn't say, if, you know, John Smith or prisoner, you know, 2832 uh, was found with this, evidence of that, uh, being charged with this. Where is all that? There's only the officer's point of view. You're never going to get a, a statement from a, an interview from a prisoner. Oh, yeah, this is what happened, and, uh, you know... We collaborate this and so this, find that. No, there is no rights when you're in prison. It's like the military. Say so goodbye to all your rights. You know, the uh, NAACA would uh, beg to differ with me, but <laughs> they're not in jail. Very few to little rights. And if you do stand up for yourself and uh, try to take action, you're still in that jail with them. Uh, or even if you're relocated, you're branded as... Um, you know, someone to, I don't want to even say not mess with because it's just the opposite. This guy's a, a, uh, a rat. This guy's labeled this, this, that, the other thing. You're going to have a harder time. Oh, boy. Where was this? Oh, hazmat. Right. This was in uh, Indiana. Oh, boy. All right, vehicle accident. You know, it's probably, you know, for those that are, they're in the, that are in there for years and years and years, this was excitement to them. Change of pace. 
All right, level two, state of Texas, vehicle accident, explosion, USA, state of New York, 19 hours ago, level three. Let's see what exploded in Manhattan here, probably. Hudson Valley, okay. Two explosions and a fire at a cosmetic factory in the Hudson Valley about an hour north of New York City left 13 people injured, including five firefighters caught in the second blast. Authorities said Monday, New New Windsor uh, Town Supervisor George Green told the Associated Press that the first explosion occurred around 10.30 a.m. Oh, boy. A 5.0 just happened in New Caledonia. Um, at the Vera International and a 2.4 in Iran. Cosmetic factory. He said firefighters responded to the scene were inside the second explo when the second explosion occurred. The injured include firefighter who was taken to the burn at Westchester Medical. Now, I thought I read something differently. Multiple explosions rocked a cosmetic manufacturing facility in the New Windsor on Monday. At least 35 people were injured, including seven firefighters. Firefighter was taken to the Winchester Medical Burn Unit uh, with a significant burn to his face. Others suffered broken bones, muscle tears, minor burns. Dear Lord. The explosion happened at Viria International, a business that makes cosmetics. Primary nail polish. Oh, boy. That's up. Uh, very flammable and uh, combustible um, and a lot of fumes from that as well. There's no indication yet to what caused the blast. Curious where this is, what's around it. They don't talk about the surrounding areas at all. Why is that? Could be isolated. A lot of land up here. Let's see. By the water, so it can't be that isolated. What's around in New Windsor? Let's go with population map. How's that? Oh boy. Plenty, plenty populated. Heavily populated. populated. Oh yeah. Look how dark this is. That means there's a lot of so oh, look how far can I zoom in here? Satellite image. There we go. Yeah, sorry, it's dark, but uh, so here's the factory, and here's homes right here. Look at this. Major na cosmetics. They got some, you know, some heavy, heavy. Oh, look, right next to Coca-Cola. Right next to a steakhouse, uh, right next to a temple, um, what else, UPS center, major industrial area, heavy traffic, uh, what's over here, here's a throughway, here's New York State throughway, and nothing, no mention of anything being shut down, two explosions, 35 people injured, broken bones, um, I'm sure there's fumes Massive fumes. Oh, which way is the wind going from here? More than likely, um, cold fronts, they come down. So more than likely, this is going down. Uh, but the, I'm wondering if they told the residents. These residents definitely heard this. They could hear it practically across the street. Oh. Hopefully there's a um, update on this. this is, pray for these folks here. I have not heard much as far as uh, ammonia chloride leaks. Uh, and I'm th starting to think that it is seasonal. It's been about a week now since um, there has been one. All right, let's see. Where are we going? Explosion, USA, New York. That was 19 hours. Technological disaster in India one day ago, which we may have covered yesterday. Let's see. In that, dozens of people are feared trapped or dead under debris after a plastic bag. Yeah, we did that yesterday. 
Okay, any updates on that? No updates. Let's go back. One, two, three. Um, any updates? Anything else? No. That was explosion. I didn't even see that. Just guessed it was an update. Nothing else. Nothing else. Okay, long-term events. Three years ago, three updates. The volcano in Iceland. Um, nothing there. Environmental pollution, South Dakota. Uh, let's see what's going on with that. Let's see what kind of updates we got. That was the pipeline. The key uh, Keystone uh, pipeline that was coming up on a vote. Lord, I hope that uh, gets squashed. Description, updates, updates. Today is the 21st of November. Yesterday's update. A major oil spill on the Keystone Pipeline in South Dakota helped push U.S. crude prices higher on Friday, while fuel, just right before the holiday, too, fueling opposition to another pipeline project by owner Trans Canada Corp that faces a crush decision in Nebraska next week. The, the Keystone Pipeline running, a, running from Canada across the Great Plains leaked Thursday morning, spilling about 500, I guess that means barrels of oil, 5,000 oil, or 21, or two, 210,000 gallons, southeast of the small town of Amherst in northeast North uh, South Dakota. The climb in U.S. crude futures and and slide in Canada heavy crude prices, as well as Trans Canada Corp shares, came the day after 5,000 barrel spill, tied uh, for this year's largest pipeline leak in the U.S. Oh man, this got to this got to kill it. It has to kill it. There's no way they're going to be able to get this uh, expand this upon. Uh, the building of this. No way. Okay. Um, extreme weather. Six updates. Five days ago in Greece. Volcano. Got that. Environmental pollution. Dakota. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, what's going on in Yemen? 28 and 12. In Madagascar and Yemen, same. But I'm sure it's uh, a lot going on, a lot more behind the scenes. All right, let's get into the earthquakes. This is the um, earthquakes in the past uh, 15 hours or so. I'm going to read off the ones that are uh, 4.0 or higher, or around about that area, maybe in the high threes. We'll see. Starting from 16 minutes ago, a 3.4 in Iran, 4.2, 41 minutes ago in Mexico, 3.7 in Colombia. Why did that jump like that? Something updated? Oh, 5.0 happened uh, in New Caledonia, 24 minutes ago. I see it, it uh, self updated. Uh, 3.8 in Iceland. Uh, that's not good because it's got the volcano poking about over there. And 4.6, one hour ago in Mexico, 3.7, Chile, 3.5, New Zealand, uh, Chile, Iran, Chile, Iran, Greece, 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 Iran, Chile, Turkey, Iran. A lot of twos, a lot of twos. All right, four and five hours ago, we had two 4.9s in New Caledonia, 4.6 and a 4.7 in Canada, British Columbia. Where was that? Let's see if that was... Uh, close to anything else was in the water so let's check the buoys um, up there by Washington Alaska Zoom in, it's so clustered up up there. Still haven't heard back. I think I emailed a fourth, that was a fourth or a fifth um, entity or a business that deals with buoys. No one's gotten back to me. 
I guess they got real slow budgets, small budgets. A lot of them shut down too. There was a uh, a link off of Noah that said for other links and further information, go to these links. And I kept clicking, and they kept like, sorry, doesn't you know, an error occurred. Sorry, shut down. Sorry, doesn't exist. Sorry, can't help you. Like, are you kidding me? They definitely aren't updating their links. Are they getting shut down or they're changing them? Who knows what? But I guess the tiny budget, <sighs> smaller than the Coast Guard. I do not see any uh, fluctuations here. We'll keep an eye on that. Okay, uh, back to the map. That was a 4.7. Twice, five hours ago. 4.9 in Tonga, Pacific, five hours ago. 3.5 in Colombia. 3.2 in Costa Rica. Nine hours ago, 4.2 in New Zealand. And 5.1 and 5.3 in Mexico, 10 hours ago. 4.1 in Mexico. And a 4.6 in Indonesia. Wow, a walk in the park compared to yesterday and the day before. Which there was a 7.0 and a 7.3, I heard at one uh, reading, uh, where there was a tsunami not observed. And another one that says tsunami not observed five hours ago from a 4.7 which we were just looking at in British Columbia. Volcano activities. As of the 21st, we got Mount Agung Volcano in Bali, Indonesia. Huffing and puffing here. Let's see what the description says. Mount Agung on the resort island of Bali which has been rumbling in recent months, erupted on Tuesday afternoon, the National Disaster Mitigation Agency said. The volcano erupted and spewed black smoke at 5.05 p.m. on Tuesday, said Sutopo Puru Nangorho, the head of National Disaster Mitigation Agency. Uh, residents are advised to remain calm. Do not panic. That's when you panic. <laughs> when they say, do not panic, that's when you panic. Stay away from areas within. You know why they don't want you to panic? Because one, they want their paycheck still coming. Uh, you know, they want their funding to still coming. They want their sponsors to keep flowing. Uh, they don't want their real estate value to decline. And uh, they don't want to be uh, called fear mongers or their, or God forbid, their their reputation. Um, you know, to be hindered. In the event of uh, they're wrong, uh, but you're talking about a volcano erupting. All right, let's move on. Um, the Energy and Mineral Resource Ministry, Volcanology and Geological Hazard. Yeah, right there. You see all these big names and big words and big uh, agencies. Dollar signs. Dollar signs. Dollar signs. Um. The height of some smoke reached more than 700 meters from the peak of the mountain. The eruption is still ongoing. Residents should remain calm. <laughs> uh, the alert level for the rumbling volcano has forced more than $100,000 of flea was lowered last month. Oh, this is from the last one. Oh, this is the one where, uh, I wonder if this is the one where residents refuse to go back when they ask people to go back. He said, it's okay, it's safe now. Like, nah, you go back. You come back and tell us it's safe. <laughs> if we don't see in a week, we'll know it's not safe. All right. Back to the map. Hmm. Where are we? Quakes. And no active tropical storms. And super volcano monitoring. Uh, let's see, as of the 20th and 21st, we have 
rumbling about one, two, three, four. That's it for the 20th and 21st. Four super volcanoes uh, that are puffing and puffing. Usually it's up in the five or six areas. Four is kind of low. So that tells me that pressure is not being released uh, to expect something bigger come down to shoot. All right, let's check out um, my subscription uh, channels that I subscribe to on YouTube. See what they're reporting on. See? See how it's slow it is? I think they're actually monitoring. They, they're able now to hack into Firefox. So they're uploading everyone's uh, activities now. Wicked world, folks. Wicked world. All right. Um, Paul Begley, prophecy alert. We almost lost it all. Owning a dog reduces mortality by 33%. Common sense show. Uh, let's see. Ketterin 60. Judge not. Amen. Daryl Eves uh, Ministries. Oh, 119 Ministries. They're pretty good. Uh, law. Multiply and fill the earth. Yes, go for it. Multiply. White House, uh, they get a tree, it looks like, and they, I think they pardon a turkey, too. Base 19, part 13, oh, that is Miles Johnson. The Jackson Therapy International, they only follow natural nature, good things, nothing else proof, period. 119 Ministries, don't be under the law. Hmm. Say goodbye to joint pain with these five tested remedies. Joint pain treatment, live healthy life. Live healthy life. Dr. Eric Berg, DC. Why butter helps you lose weight. The Common Sense Show. Marshawn Lynch. Marshawn. Marshawn? Marshawn Lynch is not worthy of America's respect or money. Christ Forgiveness, Second Chronicles 14. That's uh, David Lynn. Lone Star, 1776, Proverbs 132. The prosperity of fools shall destroy them. 119 Ministries, no fire on the Sabbath, question mark. All right, Mr. Gear, uh, 119 Ministries. All of a sudden, they, they haven't, seen, haven't seen these guys around a while. Looks like they're back on the wagon. It's good. Uh, the Brit Hadashah series, the Mem Ministry, uh, Mystery. All right. Dr. Eric Berg, DC. Some real reasons why saturated fats are healthy. Trump Breaking News Network. Trump vows to play a role in House Senate tax negotiations. See? That's what I was telling you before. <laughs> that makes me giggle, man. Just, just hearing his name, President Trump. I'm never going to get used to that. And I'm going to smile on, the, on my face or definitely giggling on the inside about that. Four, four male cheetahs against one female. That's not nice. Uh, I did watch that. Um, it looks like they were just, um, she may have been in their territory. She may have been in heat or something. Who knows? Uh, but they weren't killing her. They were just roughing her up a bit. She, she survived. She put up quite a fight, but let me tell you. Oof. All right, Full Spectrum Survival. Uh, they, he did a good report this morning on a lot of news going on around the world. Eva Fox. She got a few videos here. So the next few videos are from Eva Fox. Uh, grab 15 lemons and do this. Your health increases. Is it 15 lemons? That's a lot of lemons. Your health increases by more than 350%. Uh, add this ingredient to your breakfast, and your life will change, which is uh, cocoa. Thanks to this cream, you will be 10 years younger. Nemesis Maturity. First interstellar cigar-shaped asteroid 
is like nothing seen before. Uh, right wing, why don't you thank President Trump? UCAL, why is this still, why is this even still in the news? I mean, just, they got out of jail, let, let their own reputation follow them around. Eva Fox, uh, 20 things you didn't know about Katy Perry, who cares? Um, let's see. High impact flicks. Why you really, really should disobey. Right wing, uh, right side broadcasting. Um, live chat. I guess uh, it's going on now. Okay, Dutch Sense. Nine hours ago, he did a great update. Uh, he did some good explanation, too, about how to. Um, and some people going after him. Um, so it was one, I think it was the, he said the Washington Post. Uh, wrote something about, I don't know, was it about him directly or a professor that was saying to his students that he was fake news, that Dutch Sense was fake news. Um, I texted a comment to him saying to sue him, uh, sue him for defamation of character um, and goodwill. Um, so, we'll see. Right Side Broadcasting News Network. John Conyers accused of sexual harassment. Yeah, why not? Uh, he's a bigot too, right? I mean, I mean, it, this it's so it's so common. It seems like the the easiest thing for people to do to come out and say against, and then they have to prove not against that it wasn't isn't true, to uh, destroy just to put people in people's frame of mind, their character, especially in an election like they're doing. They're trying to do with uh, Judge uh, Roy Moore right now. Oh, yeah, he's a sex offender, he molests whatever he touched or inappropriate or harassment, whatever. Great, there goes 10,000 votes out the door. Um, and these tactics are just deplorable, um, you know, shameful, really, really shameful. They'll pay women, I don't know how much, 100, 100 bucks, 10,000, 100,000, a million, I don't know. How bad do you want to beat him? How where, how much can they profit? You know, this guy that's running against him in Alabama uh, for the Senate seat, um, which was actually only just vacant because uh, Trump appointed the guy that was there to, um, oh, why am I drawing a blank? I don't know. He appointed him to some position, which left an open seat. Uh, but if the guy stands to make, you know, say um, 200000 a year in salary and half a million a year in bribes, Money laundering, scam, scheme, contracts under the table, wink, wink, kickbacks. Um, he might spend, you know, a hundred thousand dollars in ten different women, ten thousand each, say, uh, to come up and come come out and say, yeah, he was a this guy sexually harassed me, you know, and hope to win the campaign on, based on that. Now, what I like to see is these women that supposedly. Uh, made this police report get arrested for filing a false police report. Just saying. That's a good thing. So pray for vindication. All right. Pastor Daryl Matt, 1963. Has Trump revealed key principles of his peace plan? Arab League criticizes Iran. Paul Begley, uh, last night's show, I guess, 10 hours ago, breaking North Korea prepares to fire missiles. Frederick Dunn, a honeybee behavior observ observation, queen, worker, drone, hygienic, egg, larva, pollen. That's a lot going on in uh, seven minutes there, Frederick. But he makes some great, I gotta click on it. I gotta, I can't resist. He makes some great close up videos. Oop, sorry. Ah, sorry, sorry. I think that echoed back. Uh, if this hasn't been echoing all along. So, boy. Hope not. I don't know why I wasn't hearing it. Oh, because it's probably muted on my end. <gasps> He's out of focus. I've never seen him out of focus before. But that's a close up. And it's like macro. Why are you out of focus there? Come on, brother. You're better than that. Oh, boy. Oh, he's got him in a glass. Uh, 
Not one of his better videos. Usually it's better well, it's better lit. They see the waggle dance. See this guy dancing here? He's shimming. See all the, see all the pollen on him? He's doing a dance to communicate to the other bees. And you see how the other bees are observing him? He's giving them directions. What this is, is he's saying, look, go this far, turn left. Go this far, turn right. And uh, then you're there at where I got, where I just got all this. Um, now it looks like they're depositing here now what they picked up, the pollen. So he's rubbing it off his legs in the back there. Fascinating, fascinating creatures. All right, what else? It's getting boring. Oh, here's the queen. There's Mama Queen laying her eggs. They're all attending to her. They're feeding her. Uh, making sure she's doing her job. What's interesting here is that look at the deformity and the structures of these. These guys are usually so meticulous about the... Uh, these are almost round. See this hexagon here? One, two, three, four, five, six-sided. Uh, they're usually very meticulous about how they... Uh, this must be on the glass. These guys are walking on the glass. Up, see how upside down they are? Here they are. See this shape of these? One, two, three, four, five, six. What's going on there? Feeding her or something? <clears throat> oh, they're cleaning her. All right, great videos. Good times. <laughs> Paul Bagley breaking massive gas line fire in Detroit, Michigan explosion. Ten hours ago, Paul Bagley reported. Didn't see that in my thing. Good. Survival comms. Mm, really need to review this. He's got a part three out now. Building your radio communications plan. Chemtrails MN, Arkansas. Steve Mutsi add himself to the list. Um... There's Killary, the uh, queen crime boss. Uh, be sure to make it look like an accident. <laughs> Chemtrails MN. Please, Lord, have her retire. And Chelsea. Just just go away. Why doesn't, why doesn't she go to Canada and run? Obviously, Americans don't want her here. The vast population. Become Canadian. Go move to Canada and go run for office there. See what happened. They'll probably win. There are a lot of liberals up there. Or Mexico. If you're such a tough crime boss, go to Cuba. Run for, run for office in Cuba, Hillary. Agman Report. Oh, this is going to be a good show. Geoengineering and Justin... And Justice, I'm sorry, Steve Quayle, Dane Wington, and Dan Duvall. Great team. That's going to be an awesome show. Earthmaster, West Coast, two watching. Steve, can't pronounce that. Opus 31, Amazon, and Mangolius. Global Warming and Plague, number four, by Nicholas Pog M. Israeli News Not Live, with Stephen Ben Denoon. Uh, Trump ignores Kennedy's Vaccine Commission appoints pro-vaccine secretary. Mm, doesn't sound good. Step one survival. SHTF series fear. God rules. Demons on camera. Strange attacks and sightings happening worldwide revealed. Christ forgiveness. Uh, on point preparedness. Birds of a feather flock together. Health Ranger, is your cardiologist killing you? Mind-blowing interview with Dr. Jack Wolfson on the Common Sense Show. Look at all those empty seats. <laughs> That's got to be at the football game. That's great. Um, 
let's give a peek into this real quick here to see uh, what these guys are uh, barking about. You know, a lot of these things here, too, camera's shaking, it's blurry, um, and you don't know if this is an amateur film as well, too, with special effects, lighting, um, reflections here. I mean, a lot of this came and spawned about from that movie. Um, what was it? I don't know. It's where the kid had a camera it was shaking like this. And black. A lot of black and bright whites. Black and white. They're running through the woods and stuff. I think the budget was like $11,000 or something. And it made millions. <laughs> then there was a two. What the heck was the name of that movie? It shouldn't even have been a movie. It should have been a high school, you know, whatever. Um... I don't know, seeing things are caught on tape, uh, you know. What is this, dog barking, really? Yeah, that looks like a movie to me. I think I saw this one before. Yeah, camera shaking, on, you know. She's on drugs! What's that called? I think heroin. I think it's called. There's a cat. Night vision. Watch, gonna see glowing eyes in the dark. Watch. Just wanted like to debunk these things. See what I tell you? There's something glowing in the dark. Can't see what it is. It's out of focus. It's nighttime. Oh, this is a doctor explaining abortions or something. He starts uh, having bug eyes and acting crazy. And they say, no, oh, yeah, I do abortions. I'm Satan, I'm Satan, I'm Satan, I'm an abortion, yeah. Yeah. The doctor's acting all crazy because the guy's approaching him like he is crazy. Okay, then you got the meetings, the Masonic meetings, right? Writings. Who this guy is? Yak, 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 yak. All right, whatever. Whatever. It's in the Bible. Craziness is upon us. See what happens to your body if you run five minutes every day. Mm -hmm. Seven nations join Israel in military drills. Paul Begley. Uh, Middle East tensions. You know, they really should call it something else besides drills. How about, you know, saber rattling or uh, proxy war? Where am I? Um, Able Danger. Uh, Paddock's CAI. Junket Bridge Hotel. Wilbur's. Rothschild. Greeks. I don't know what that's going on. But Able Danger. He's got a lot of good info. He's guest on a lot of shows. Uh, so check that out. That might be backwards. Um, that might be CIA. He just doesn't want to spell it out. To get censored. Get demonetized. Whatever. On the a strike against them. <coughs> Excuse me. Christian Journal. Another one bites the dust. Goodbye, Charles Rose. I don't know what that is. Convention of States Project. The Daily Ledger Convention of States could simplify the tax code in a big way. Yes, it could. Something strange. Oh, yeah. Alert. End of the world on um, Saturday. Yeah, that was interesting. People out in California, um, a few different stations and cable channels, a emergency alert came up in the middle of the program. And then some voice came over it saying, you know, this is the end of the world, say goodbye, you know, everything's ending on Saturday, you know. Um, so, it's happened to the boards, not going to stop happening. Lone Star, 1776, Obama put out a fourth birth... A, a forged birth certificate 
Some of us have not forgotten. Amen. Good. Keep it going. Uh, the Common Sense Show. Uh, Laval Ball, How to Stay. Uh, that's ridiculous. Stop wasting time. Turkeys in Town. Richard Franklin, Gator, Letter from Prison, Lone Star, 1776. Dutch Sense, Price Forgiveness, uh, Toronto Needs Jesus, Streets, with Pastor David Lynn. Disaster Prepper, where's this guy? Oh, this guy's awesome. Ammo Can, Faraday Cage, 70 plus DP Shielding. Um, he has set up some really great testing equipment and tests the Faraday cage, which is to protect your electronics from uh, CME or a, um, um, which is a corona mass ejection or EMP, electromagnetic pulse, which comes from the nuke going off above the uh, land, not touching the land, but sends out a shockwave of electromagnetic pulses and disables electronics that are not protected or grounded. Um, any electronic that completes a circuit gets fried, put it that way. And circuit meaning it has a battery and or circuitry where the pulse actually touches it. Uh, that's not in a Faraday cage. Faraday cage is real simple. It really is just um, a metal surrounding the electronic without actually touching the electronic, that metal, and it disperses that pulse around it. And it just discharges, you know, negatively, it grounds it, passes it by, and it's over. Because it's just like a wave that passes by within, you know, fractions of a second. Uh, but unlike the, what it comes from the sun, it's, so, it's such a thick band of electronic pulsing uh, that it could take literally hours to pass by um, the thickness of that. Now this guy takes a, he'll take a radio, he'll stick it in a, in an ammo can, um, but he'll put it, you know, something around it. He'll put a meter in there with the can, and then he'll he'll actually has this room that generates an electronic pulse. He flips the switch, goes back in there, sees if it's fried. And they'll do the readings. It's really great. Very scientific what he does. Dade, okay, so that was disaster prepper. How to have thick, healthy hair. One simple step. Oh, what did he do? What was this? I watched this. Um, was it? Um, oh, it was um, Ormus. Ormus Gold. Monatomic Ormus Gold. He's selling for a ridiculous price. Um, it was like $86. But if you go on this other website, Alchemy, um, no, what was it, what was it, uh, Blue, yeah, bluewateralchemy.com, if you want to learn some really, really interesting stuff, check this stuff out, man, check out the, the, um, literature too as well, just a lot of interesting things, um, a lot cheaper, I think it's like $36 or something here on this site, by Ormus. Now they got water too as well. And you only need a teaspoon per per glass. Uh, Ormus concentrate. If you don't know what it is, um, it's hard to explain it. Um, they make this stuff. I can't, I can't even begin to explain it. it it's so involved. Um, maybe if you do a uh, video. Here, here's a video. Ormus videos. Research, testimonials. A lot of people use it for health. They use it for their plants. They use it for their animals, livestock. Um, they use it for um, focus. They use it for memory. They use it for um, prayer. They use it for reaching a higher consciousness, if you will. Um, a lot of different things it's used for. Worth looking into, put it that way. Yeah, get the cheapest one, give it a shot, to see what you think. I have not tried the water yet, so um, that should be interesting. And you can make your own as well, too. Uh, just like um, the other stuff that's really good is um, um, uh, colloidal silver. Ormus. 
Let's see, there was another one. Subtle Energies, that's the other one. So that one we were just on is Blue Water Alchemy, and this one is SubtleEnergies.com, um, but this is Ormus, but they have a lot of different um, articles here. You really need to uh, read. Fat, I find it fascinating. You know, I'm, I'm not a big fan of reading. This stuff I like to read. Uh, this is their main website, and they just come down here. Trigger. Yeah, they do have stuff with um, the stars and astronomy, uh, astrology. I'm not a fan of that, but if they're, you know, able to uh, create something that's tangible, it's got my attention. Same time, keep up your guard, too, as well. Don't be led astray. Ellen White, uh, The Perils of Hypnosis. Your Brainwash TV, 13-year-old invents free energy device for 14 bucks. There we go. There's something worth watching. Your Brainwash TV. Probably magnetics. Uh, let's see. Christ's forgiveness. BP Earth Watch. Massive booms around the planet as Earth slows rotation. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, boy. I have to watch that. Lone Star 1776. Praise God Almighty. Schuyler uh, Barbeur is a free man again. Amen. Amen. Paul Begley, Beast Kingdom. Iridium 242. Benko Laplander folding saw. Good things to have, those folding saws. Common Sense Show. The ET Agenda. Ronnie McMullen. CERN doubts Big Bang, logic doubts Darwin, Seventh Day Truth Seeker. NASA Magic Bag, Globusters. Check that out. Yeah, these guys are caught. There was a recent video totally debunking NASA um, and their being in space <laughs> where uh, President, um, ex President um, Bush, older Bush, senior. Is in a wheelchair taking a tour of NASA, uh, and the camera just happens to catch him as he's in this one building, division, whatever. And in the background, not even in the far background, just in the same room, they're filming this blue screen. <laughs> so funny, really funny. It's sad. Billions of dollars in there faking things like going to space and the moon. Uh, the Common Sense Show. Charles Manson, dead at age 83. Good riddance. Lone Star, 1776. Jason and Gerhard, letter from prison. Miles Johnson, base 19, part 13. Uh, Marie Haley's UFO, part 2. Northwest Liberty News. Civil base dropped again. Civil case dropped against Wolfgang Helbig. The dominoes are falling. Amen. Let's see. Miles Johnson. Bases, fast blasts, 12 strands, and Xmas, November 12th. Learn your land. Here he is. Behold the amazing pretzel slime mold. You guys want to learn about mushrooms? This kid will blow your mind. I don't know. He looks like he's in his 20s. He sounds like a professor that has five PhDs on mushrooms. Um, and he goes out to the wilderness with you and shows you all these different mushrooms. And he articulates um, whether they're poisonous or edible, medicinal, and he gives you all their, um, you know, their long, I think called genre, or fa family, genre, or family names, whatever they're called. I forget how that's even, what it's even called um, in the scientific field. Very smart. And he gives tours, too. He's in East, Western Pennsylvania. You can go with him in the wilderness. Ask questions, check out the mushrooms, cook some mushrooms. Uh, they are getting less as the weather gets colder, but they're still out there. I'm sure he's got a few in the stockpile, too. Lone Star, 1776. Uh, Russell Dean Landers, letter from prison. Dr. Josh Axe. How to stay healthy over Thanksgiving. Tips and tricks. Right Side Broadcasting, First Lady Melinda Trump receives the 2017 White House Christmas tree. Dr. Josh Axe, burst fit at home with uh, sliders, full body workout. Episode 
episode one. Shill stoppers. You won't believe all that's being exposed. Um, five artifacts that mysteriously vanished. Huh, can you say Smithsonian? White House, first lady receives Christmas trip. Subtle infinity. Subtle in infinity, I'm sorry. Folding laundry and the universe. <laughs> that's great. Uh, takes you 40 minutes to fold the laundry. You're fired. The Seventh Day Truth Seeker. The horizon rises to eye level. Hmm. Right side, broadcasting news. Watch Sarah Huckabee, Sander White House. Brief, uh, press briefing. Another one, press briefing. All right, that's it. That's it. This wraps it up for today, folks. Um, we'll see you again tomorrow, 9 a.m. Eastern Time on Facebook.com forward slash Amber Tracks if you want to do a... Um, live stream with us and uh, I upload that onto facebook.com forward slash amber tracks uh, so let's close up with a prayer dear heavenly father thank you lord for this ministry of preparedness we ask that you please uh, bless our viewers and all their needs please protect them dear lord from satan's uh, whispers and temptations uh, we ask that you please bless their family and their children and um, please uh, help us to lead others to uh, your kingdom lord through these ministries and into the wilderness, Lord, when the time comes to survive, to preach the gospel until their last breath. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, folks, if you have not yet given your life to Jesus Christ, you can do so right here, right now, by simply repeating this prayer and being humble before the Lord. So if you can, um, get on your knees, bow your head, and speak out loud this prayer. Um, otherwise, um, you can say it silently to yourself. Um, just be humble before God. Dear Heavenly Father, I believe in your Son, Jesus Christ, that he is the true living Son of God. I believe he died on the cross for my sins. I believe he rose from the dead, ascended to heaven, and is coming back again. Please, Lord, have mercy on my soul now and at the hour of my death. Write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Wash me in the Lamb's blood. I give my life to you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. That's it. That's simple. Don't confess your sins. Dear Heavenly Father, please forgive me of my sins. I repent and confess of my sins to you, Lord. Amen. Ooh, almost forgot that. Um, Got to confess your sins. God helps God to hear and see your prayers. He hears and sees. He says it in the Bible. When you fast and confess your sins, I I forget what the exact words. I fervently, or yeah, he hears and sees prayers more. I don't know how he sees them. I guess uh, that's how he is. Uh, but congratulations. If you just said that prayer, you are saved and born again. Welcome to the family of God. And you need to now seal the deal. Go to a church near you, tell them you got saved, born again on an online ministry, and you need to be baptized, fully submerged in water. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I'll write that down if you have to, or remember it. Um, but you need to do this right away. There's probably 20 churches within a 10-mile uh, radius of you. Go over there, knock on the door, just uh, or call the number, tell them you need to be baptized today. Uh, you got saved and born again, and uh, what can you do? They say, well, come back Tuesday, 5 o'clock. We're baptizing two other peoples. Bring a change of clothes. We'll see you then. Done. That's good enough. Uh, if they say, well, it takes about six months. We really need you to learn, you know, our ways, uh, be a member, et cetera, et cetera. Say, thanks, but I'll consider it after I'm baptized. Go to the next church. Go, keep going to church, church, church after church. Do you find somebody today, tomorrow? to baptize you, or at least set an appointment to baptize you. Then, get yourself a Bible. Start studying. Start going to prayer. Uh, if you want to chew on the Word and really learn the Gospel full-time, um, go to the Adventist.org website, and they'll have a church by you as well. That's the church I belong to. They're Seventh-day Adventists. So that's Adventist.org. Then uh, get yourself a waterproof Bible, 
and we sell them on our website. It also helps support this ministry, which is um, ambertracks.com. You also get survival supplies there. Um, waterproof Bible is great for the bug out bags in the times of unrest, persecution, oppression. We will be needing this because these Bibles um, will fall apart, will get wet, uh, will be destroyed. I'm sorry to say. A waterproof Bible is a great thing. Uh, also, if you need a bunker, I mean, you know anyone that is building developments, houses, condominiums, etc., land, um, multiple housings, and wants to build bunkers in the foundation, and or consulting on how to survive in training for survival in the wilderness, uh, you could hire me as a consultant to do these things. Uh, we have prefabricated bunkers and uh, bunkers constructed from, from scratch concept of any budget. Uh, the prefabricated ones can be financed, uh, but there is a minimum of five you have to purchase here on the East Coast uh, because they come from California and they're not going to haul cross country one bunker. It's not worth it to them. They'll end up, you know, losing money, <laughs> put it that way. All right, so um, get together with some friends or family or uh, at an expo or something. If you're a developer or in the um, construction business, uh, check out our website, worthingtonbunkers.com. That's worthingtonbunkers.com. All right, folks, thanks for joining. God bless you, and we'll see you again soon, tomorrow morning, God willing, at uh, 9 a.m. Eastern, facebook.com forward slash ambertracks, and our other website is youtube.com forward slash ambertracks. Bye-bye.